time has come for a bit of a test. Um, so as normal, the ZX is back in again. It's just a really nice, easy car for testing um, a dyno with nice linear sort of NA petrol power. Um, so we just sort of tested out all the new strapping sort of arrangement we've got going on. Um, so you'll see we've got four straps on the front now rather than just two. Um, we used to just have the two behind the drive axle. We've now got one in front of the drive axle as well. Uh, the reason for doing that is basically it means that you can have any one of those straps fail um, and the car can't go anywhere. Um, obviously before if you did have one of those melt on the exhaust or rub through on a roller or something happened to fail, um, the car would then be able to move if, if it, I mean obviously generally front wheel drive like this it doesn't tend to move around but if you're under full power with a big powerful torquey diesel etc you'll find they'll want to pull one way or the other uh, particularly if the tracking isn't exactly right with the car um, so by having the four I'm kind of a bit more confident that it's not going to go anywhere it's more of a fail safe than anything really um, we've also got the two straps on the back as before um, even more necessary this time there's a lot more traction um, and there's also a lot less drop in the roller um, even this sort of relatively low power 150 160 horsepower petrol is more than happy to climb up on top of the front roller um, without that back strap and that was even before we were revving it out really that was just sort of testing it for literally a minute ago um, so the back strap keeps it down where it needs to be um, so we've got the fan as before um, obviously I've already showed everything that's going on over there. So I'm just going to let things warm up here a bit um, and then we're going to do a few pulls just to see, what, see what's going on really. It's a video everyone's probably been waiting for. Um, we're finally up and running. So we've got the Sigma, so the TU16 parked on here at the moment. Um, um, so we're gonna do a few power runs with this just to demonstrate everything up and running. Um, Chris will hold the camera. Um, we've just done a couple runs already. There's two runs there. You can see they pretty much lie right on top of each other, which is what you expect to happen. Um, so we'll fire things up here and we'll do a few things.
Hmm. 5-0 now? That's right. The 5 O's on. Everyone's gone home. Uh, this is the sort of semi war zone that's been left. Um, so we had Tom and Rear in today. Got Tom's ZX back down again. Um, so this is what I've come up with. Um, it's a little bit tricky because the turbo on this one's obviously relocated in the battery area. Um, and obviously that was uh, that was only two and a half inch up to that. So I've had to go all the way from the back of the turbo. Um, so we've got a V made up the downpipe, which is the bit in the in the front there. Uh, put a V band on that so that you can easily disconnect it from the rest of the system. And then the centre section just with a short flexi in the front, a bit of give. Um, and a back box with a, a straight through box in it. Um, so that will hopefully get bolted up tomorrow. Um, and we'll be doing some dyno runs. Well, we've already done three passes today. Um, I, didn't, I didn't video it, I kind of failed there slightly. Mm-hmm.
six of them. The lashing going on here by the uh, Devon Radger. Just done a base call, but I think we've got a bad math. Two pumps on top of each other, so it's pretty consistent. 